Dear students, today we will see the basic uh, principle of Henderson-Hasselbeck equation. This is an uh, important concept in pharmacokinetics. We must know what is ionization and what happens to the solubility of an ionized molecule to understand the equation better. So ionization is a process by which an atom or a molecule acquires a charge, either negative or positive charge, by gaining or losing electrons. So when a neutron atom gains an electron, it becomes negatively charged anion. And when it loses an electron, it becomes positively charged cation. So the ionized molecule, when a, when a molecule becomes ionized, it attracts the water dipoles. So it becomes aqua soluble or water soluble. And, and it becomes relatively less lipid soluble or lipid insoluble. So ionized molecules are always lipid insoluble and hence doesn't cross the biological membranes. Uh, we know that uh, most of the drugs they either occur as weak acid or weak base. So weak acid is a neutral molecule that can reversibly dissociate into an anion and a proton. Here uh, we can see, a, see an example. So this is neutral aspirin. This dissociates into aspirin anion and a proton. So the aspirin is a weak acid. Okay. So here you can see that aspirin uh, when it loses a proton. Okay, when it is unprotonated, it is in the ionized form. Okay, and similarly, when it is protonated, it is in the neutral form or unionized form. So, what happens in acidic medium? In acidic medium, there will be a lot of protons available, lot of hydrogen ions available. So, in that situation, weak acid will be in the unionized form or protonated form. Okay, so we know that unionized substances are lipid soluble and hence weak acids are more lipid soluble in acidic medium because they occur in the unionized form. And what happens in the alkaline medium? There will be less number of protons or hydrogen ions available. So these weak acids will be in the unprotonated form or ionized form. So we know that ionized molecules are water soluble and lipid insoluble and hence they will be uh, uh, you know uh, lipid insoluble in the alkaline medium. And what about weak bases? So a weak base is a neutral molecule that can form a cation by combining with a proton. So here you can uh, take an example Pyrimethamine, it is a uh, weak base because it combines with a proton to form a protonated charged uh, cation. Okay, so here this, uh, this weak base, when it combines with a proton, it becomes ionized. Okay, so uh, whenever uh, the pH is high, Okay, in the alkaline medium, there will be uh, less number of proton available. So, in uh, such cases, here the weak base will be in an unionized or unprotonated lipid soluble form in alkaline medium. And in acidic medium, there will be uh, more of protons available. So, here weak bases will be in an ionized protonated form. Okay, so ionized form will be lipid insoluble. Hence, weak bases are lipid insoluble in acidic medium, whereas lipid soluble in alkaline medium. Now, what is Henderson Hasselbeck equation? This equation relates the ratio of protonated to unprotonated weak acid or weak base to the molecules pKa and the pH of the medium. So we know that pKa is the pH at which the concentration of the ionized and the unionized forms are equal. Okay, so here this is log of a protonated to unprotonated the forms of either weak acid or weak bases and it is related to the pKa and the pH of the medium. So uh, whenever uh, you know uh, the pH is low okay whenever the pH is low there will be a lot of protons available so the substances will be in the protonated form. So in protonated form the weak bases will be 
ionized and similarly in the alkaline medium the molecules will be in the unprotonated form and in unprotonated form the weak acids will be ionized so this is the henderson hasselbeck equation so what is the application of this equation it is mainly used in the manipulation of the drug excretion so we know that the drugs are all filtered by the glomerulus and it will be reabsorbed uh, through the tubules okay so whenever we want a drug to get eliminated without reabsorption so okay in cases of drug overdose so we can uh, change the urine ph either you can increase or decrease the ph depending upon the drug to be excreted whether it is a weak acid or weak base so that it uh, doesn't get reabsorbed back through the tubules and gets excreted okay so this is especially it is used in case of uh, drug overdose or poisoning so the other uh, body fluids uh, in which the ph differences may cause either trapping or reabsorption of the uh, drugs or contents of the stomach and the small intestine breast milk aqueous humor vaginal and prostatic secretions so these body fluids also can be manipulated the ph can be manipulated um, so that the drugs can get either trapped or reabsorbed back okay similar to your uh, urine these body fluids can also be um, you know uh, the ph can be manipulated uh, depending upon the nature of the drugs thank you